The internet is supposed to be a decentralized network. If part of the network goes down, we can continue communicating. Unfortunately, that's not the way the world works today, as is evident in the very recent AWS outage that has taken down thousands of companies. So on Wikipedia, we told the internet itself was designed around principles of decentralization, allowing an unknown network of machines to be organically connected, addressed and updated over time without a central administration. So going back in time even more, in 1971, we had 15 sites connected to ARPANET. This is what existed before the internet as we know it today. It gradually developed into a decentralized communications network connecting remote centers and military bases in the United States. Unfortunately today, that's not the way the internet works because it's been centralized around hyperscalers like Amazon or AWS. On the Telegraph, we're told the Amazon failure exposes our dangerous digital dependencies. Critics say web blackout should act as a wake up call for our reliance on a handful of tech giants. The Amazon Web Services outage shows internet users at mercy of too few providers, experts say. Crash that hit apps and websites around the world demonstrates urgent need for diversification in cloud computing. So this outage has affected Snapchat, Roblox, Signal, and many, many other websites. They talk about more than 2,000 companies worldwide being affected with 8.1 million reports of problems from users, including 1.9 million reports in the US, 1 million in the UK, over 400,000 in Australia. Many websites, including HMRC, which is Customs and Revenue, basically the tax services in the UK have been affected by this. Interesting. Sites in the UK, sites around the world have been affected because AWS went down so much for a decentralized system. Even applications like Signal have gone down because of the AWS outage. Many, many websites have been affected by this. And as we can see here from the AWS website, there was an issue in APIs in the US East One region. They say that based on their investigation, the issue appears to be related to DNS resolution of a DynamoDB API endpoint in US East 1. Always DNS, always seems to be DNS. There have been some funny memes about this on X. Slack has gone down, Zero has gone down, many websites have gone down. This is how it feels like on a Monday morning. And then we have this AWS is down and all the startups are dead in the water all thanks to that one AI agent, because the AWS CEO says AI is now pushing 75% of our production code. Thanks AI, or should we say thanks DNS once again for affecting a lot of the internet.